Hey guys, it's Ozia and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be upgrading our organic farm to, to be powered by wind turbines. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, added three more fans here and I've uh, expanded out the hopper system to collect everything that's going to be in there. So we're going to get rid of this system. But first, let's go make some stuff, such as the wind turbine, which is obviously necessary for wind power. Okay, so let us grab some stuff. Uh, okay, what was this thing for? They're blades. That's ball bearings. It's like something's in my mouse making my mouse go and fixed. So let's just make uh, uh, some ball bearings first. And they're pretty easy. Two pieces of HSL steel gets you eight ball bearings. And we're going to be making a uh, what is it? It's a um, shaft bearing. That's it. Gonna make a shaft bearing by putting HSL steel in the middle and ball bearings on the outside. That's it's our shaft bearing. And let's go over here and we're gonna get our uh, thingy. Uh, once I build it, you'll be able to see what thingy it is. So. It's our shaft core, so it's two shaft units and a HSD in the middle. And the other one is, well, it's just HSLA steel gear, so we already know how to make that. Um, so let's put them all together. So that's HL steel, shaft core, and a shaft bearing gets us our rotary craft hub. Okay, so now we've got to make all the uh, blades for the wind turbine. So they're pretty easy. They're, uh, I think it's base, ingot. No, have I got that wrong? No. Maybe I'm putting that. Okay, there we go. Put in the center. So shaft unit, ingot base panel. So you want to make eight of them. Okay. And then you want to go to the work table for the final bit. The hub in the center. And put your blades on the outside. It's our wind turbine. Yay. Okay, so there's something else we want to make as well. So bring here. Uh, I'm gonna make some more shaft junctions, that's it. Now, shaft junctions uh, essentially allow you to take in one input source and divide it into two output shafts or two inputs and divide it into one output. Um, by default, they're set to um, two inputs, one output. So you're going to have to use the screwdriver to change that. So, duh, duh, duh. Okay. That, and then the gear there. It's our two shaft junctions. Now I've already made some because we're going to need to make a. We're going to need at least three for this one. So we've got four, and you're going to need some bevel gears. Okay, so I think we only need three bevel gears. We'll have to make some more later. Uh, you're going to need some wooden shafts. Um, for power transfer and uh, just, a, 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 just a, a little hint, if you look at the Rotary Craft book and it's power, wind turbine, so it's speed, it goes up to 124 rads a second, uh, which is about 4 newton meters because it outputs 4,996 watts and at its max efficient, note that the engine is only maximized when it's high up in the in the open, uh, so we go across here. It says uh, where is it, where is it? Optimal efficiency at 128 meters altitude. Uh, I think I'm not quite sure what the calculation is. Uh, block height to uh, meters high, but we're just gonna. Uh, okay, actually, we won't put it in just yet. But what I'm playing on is uh, putting the wind turbine further up so it's out of the way of any kind of machine that we might want to build in the future. So let's just get on to... Won't need that anymore. Let's get 
that one. Put a block there so I don't kill myself later. Okay. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that, that, that. All this. Sh uh, okay, so. What we want to do is we want to get our shaft junctions. And on our first fan. Place one there and place one there. As you can see, the outputs are going in the wrong direction. And if we click on them, we can see that it's got two green, that's two inputs. So we want to shift click, so it's got two red outputs. So this one's the two red outputs. So this one needs to be switched that way. Okay, so we've got a red output um, on this one going into one fan and going off. This one goes into this one and then off to there. Okay, so did I get this calculation correct? Uh, I had this whole thing worked in my head. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, let me think. So we're getting four neat meters in. This divides it into two, two. So two that way, two this way. Um, this one needs to be rotated. Yeah, like that. Okay, so four newton meters come into here, two goes that way, two goes this way, and this one splits that into two. So one goes this way, one goes that way. So now we've got that sorted out, put this bevel gear in. That's not a bevel gear. Let's get the bevel gears. Okay, bevel gear here. Let's jump back up there again. Use our tool just to see which color. So it's pink. So the input for this one needs to be pink. Input side pink. Okay, so now it's facing the right direction. So let's uh, get some of these shafts. Here. Okay, so two should go in this direction, so we need to uh, split that two with a shaft junction, like such. Uh, change the shaft junction over to a one input to output. Flip it around so the, uh, no, 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 that's the way. So green, red, red. And get these bevels. One there. There we go. And I think this one needs to be set to pink input. Yep, pink input. Yeah, there we go. So now we've got two outputs here. Uh, get those shafts to output that on there. Yep. And there. So essentially, what this system does it, is it takes four Newton meters here, converts it into uh, the two newton meters that way and two going this way. This one converts the two going from here into to one and one. So we get one newton meter going on this fan, one newton meter going on this fan, and similar setup here. So one newton meter here, one newton meter here. Because the wind turbine at Optimum works at uh, 1024 watts, which is the harvesting speed for these fans, we're essentially giving this one 1024 watts and same for this one, and that one, and that one. So all these four will work off one turbine with the use of no gears. Of course we need to divert that power in. Should we... I'm not quite sure if these ones can face upwards. Can they? No, they can't face upwards, so we're going to need a bevel. Bevel. Okay, so that's orange, orange needs to be output. Orange output, set this one. Okay, use a little screwdriver to see what color it is. Okay, so blue, dark blue is input. There we go. And uh, that's facing the wrong direction. Oh, it's yellow, my bad. Yellow is the output. There we go, now it's better. And what we're gonna do is, let us get some scaffolding so I can get up there faster.
Okay, so we're at 115. We're at 124. 26, 128. Let's just go a little bit higher. Okay, so when I figure out what the calculation of block height to meters height is, I'll probably get back to you, but well, you don't know that for the time being. Okay, so we need to put a shaft output there. Okay, and a, oh, did I need to make another bevel? I need to make another bevel. Put it there. Do we want the fans to be going in that direction? Okay, let us change the orientation. So, Pink input, uh, some other color. Okay, pink imp. Uh, actually, pink output. Uh, what do we got for inputs? Oops. Nope. Uh, pink input, sorry. Okay, that looks like it's got pink input and light blue is downside, excellent. So let's try and get down here without dying. There we go. Okay, scaffolding. We've got to shaft, <coughs> shaft the power all the way down. Using a screwdriver should change the direction so red goes down. down. Okay, so that looks like, oh, not that one. We're gonna have to see if we can change that one. This is gonna be difficult. Still going the wrong direction. Okay, there we go. Now to put the turbine on. Okay. I'm guessing that I've probably got one of these facing the wrong direction. This won't work straight away, so bear with me. Okay, so let's rotate this. So it's facing the right direction. Let's go downstairs, see which one of these one isn't turning. are you going? There you go. Ow. Okay, so they're all turning, so they're all outputting in the right direction. All these gears are turning, turning, they're all turning in the right direction. Turning fan. Hmm. Okay, this worked in the, in the test roll. You should be working. Maybe that fan's not going as fast as possible. Uh, be right back, I'll get a good tool to check this out. Okay, guys, I'm back and I figured out what the issue was. Um, if you go to the shaft junctions, um, just select, if you want to do an even split, go one to one. Just click one to one even. And for some strange reason, they weren't doing that by default, so 
I just went around and went to all my sharp junctions, went one to one, like that, one to one. So now they're evenly distributing the power. And that tool, which I haven't come across, which I haven't done a tutorial on yet, but I will at some point. I'll show you just what it does. So essentially what you can do is you can right click on stuff and it says um, down the bottom it's transmitting at 4 kilowatts uh, at 1024 rads. So it's a good way of testing where the power is going. Uh, those things won't tell you which direction but these ones will tell you that it's doing 2 kilowatts at 1024 rads and as you can see this here splits it so now it's at 1000 24 kilowatts and this one gets the other one 24. Now we're automatically harvesting um, our canola seeds. So let's see if we can get them to go up and be harvested. It feels like it. That one's close. There we go, it's got harvested and it's slowly moving down. I think so. What's the range on this? Range 7 meters, that should be fine. Range 7 meters, range 7 meters, range 7 meters. Okay, sometimes it won't do all of them, but. Maybe this isn't more maybe this is more than seven meters. I don't think it is. Yeah, let's just try this one. You can go. It's pushing the other ones. Okay, so sometimes the system doesn't always push the seeds, but uh see it push the seeds all the way there. Okay, so that's probably just glitching out, I guess. As you can see we're collecting canola seeds quite fast. Um, I think that's about it for today guys. Uh, until next time. Um, yeah, please like, comment and subscribe and stuff. Uh, if you got any suggestions leave them down at the bottom. Any requests as well. And uh, yeah. Nah.